Previously, Heath ended up with a large amount of bills that he was unable to pay, and due to this, he was evicted from his mansion. Heath was forced to move back in with the ghouls, who already replaced him with a new roommate, Claudine. Now let's see how Heath will adjust to living with the ghouls once again. Um, what is going on here? Don't tell me you're giving me another intervention. I've said it before and I'll say it again now, my shopping addiction is not going away. I think it's time we address the elephant in the room, and I'm not talking about your stupid shopping addiction. What are you talking about? We're talking about the fact that you're moving back in with us. I think I speak for everyone here when I say none of us wanted this to happen. You think I wanted to move back in with you losers? This is my rock bottom! Try to show me some sympathy here! Nope, we all warned you this would happen. And now that you've spent all your money again, you're forcing us to deal with your issues. How rude! I didn't exactly want this to happen, you haters! Well, it did, and now we have to figure out what to do. Obviously, Claudine's moved in since you've been gone, and we don't exactly have another room for you anymore. Well, it's not my fault you guys replaced me the second I left. I think it's only fair that I get my old room back anyway, and you guys should be forced to pay to repair that horrific paint job you did. I can't believe you ruined my beautiful pink wallpaper. We kind of had to replace you to pay rent. You were literally the one who suggested we get a new roommate, remember? When you refused to help pay our bills? Ugh! Well, can I at least get my old room back? I miss my walk-in closet! Yeah, that's not gonna happen. It's my room now, sorry. And that walk-in closet is now a makeshift wine cellar. What?! Look, Heath, as much as I'd love to see you homeless again, because let's face it, last time that happened it was hilarious, we'll let you move back in with us. But you're on thin ice and you aren't getting your room back. Ugh! Well then where am I supposed to live?! There's only one other spare room. No! Do not say what I think you're gonna say! The basement. No! Yeah, this is not gonna work. This room is absolutely disgusting. Just because I've hit rock bottom doesn't mean I have to literally live in a grungy basement. Nope, I can't do it. I refuse. I am not going from living in a multi-million dollar mansion to a basement. Claudine had better give me back my freaking room or someone else needs to trade spots with me. Dude, I'm not giving you your room back. You snooze, you lose. Or in this case, you spend all your money, you lose. Ugh! Well, who's gonna trade rooms with me? Surely the basement can't be much of a downgrade for you peasants. You might want to stop throwing around the word peasant so much considering we could kick you out to the streets if you don't chill. Whatever! Heath, no one's gonna trade rooms with you. At least give the basement a chance. Yeah, and I'm not joking about kicking you out again. Fine, but if I see any sort of bug, it's over. Ugh! This is horrible. Is it even safe to be living in these conditions? Hey Heath, I can't believe you're living with us again. I missed having you around. Well, at least someone misses me, jeez. So, are you getting all settled in? Um, no, I'm living in a basement! <gasps> oh my god, I just realized there's not even a bed down here! How am I supposed to get my beauty sleep in a place like this? Oh no, I'm so sorry you can't get your old room back. Hey, you could always bring a sleeping bag and hang out in me and Jackson's room. It would be like a big sleepover. Never in a million years would I voluntarily have a sleepover with Jackson. Maybe sleeping on the floor down here won't be so bad after all. Oh, well let me go see if I can find you a mattress or something. Ugh, I guess this is what my life has come to. I don't even know how I'm supposed to fall asleep down here. I feel like I'm in a freaking dungeon. Hmm, maybe if I play some soft jazz music on Spotify, it will remind me of being in the Gucci store. Yeah, that'll work. Ah, I'm in my happy place. I am in my happy place. I'm not sleeping on a basement floor. I am not broke. I am in my happy. Nope! I am not sharing a room with that monster! No, no, no! This will just have to do for the night. Um, Heath? Heath! Ugh, what?! Seriously? I finally fall asleep and you wake me up like this?! What are you doing in the middle of the floor? I almost tripped over you trying to go get a midnight snack. I can't sleep in the basement! I saw a bug down there! Heath, the basement isn't the only room where there's bugs, you know. Ah! Why would you say that? 
Just get up. You can't sleep in the living room, man. Can you at least share your midnight snack with me? I need to stress eat some ice cream after that trauma you caused me. No. Ugh! Heath, what are you doing in my room? Ugh, why does everyone keep waking me up? I'm an Instagram model. I can't get bags under my eyes. Get out of here, Heath. No, I can't go back in that basement. I tried and I just can't do it. Well, too bad. No way are you staying in my room. Out. Ugh! Yeah. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? Get away from me, freak. I was just gonna move you down to the basement and take back my old room for the night. What? Haven't we been through this? This is my room now, dude. But there's bugs in the basement! Come on, just give me my room back. We can even share the bed. No, get out of here. Ugh! Claudine? Claudine! Come on, let's just trade rooms! Ugh! Heath, get up! Ugh! Why will no one in this house let me get some beauty sleep? We need to figure this out now. There's no way you're gonna be living on our couch. Well, where else am I supposed to go? The basement is disgusting and crusty, plus I bet that dumb cockroach I saw last night has already started a family in my piles of couture clothing! Well, that's too bad, buddy. Either you get over yourself and live in the basement, or you're out. What if we made some changes to the basement to make it more your style? Unless you can magically transform the basement into my bedroom for my mansion, there's nothing you could do to that mess of a room to make it my style. Frankie's right. Why do you want my room back anyway, considering it's been painted? You should just decorate the basement instead. It's actually a pretty spacious room, too. Hmm, maybe. But that's so much work now that I don't have a personal butler anymore. We could help you. Me and Jackie love decorating. Fine, but just because I've run out of options. Yay! are gone. Thank goodness. Cockroaches scare me. Hmm. Well, it's not the same as my old bedroom, but it's decent, I guess. The selfie of me reminds me of the portraits I had in my mansion, and this exposed brick would make a great backdrop for Instagram pictures. Well, I think it looks awesome. At least now I'll be able to survive in here without getting the heebie-jeebies, but I still might need my jazz music playlist to be able to fall asleep. Nothing relaxes me like pretending I'm shopping at the mall. Oh, I guess that means you won't get to sleep over with me and Frankie anytime soon. Ew, I was never gonna do that in the first place. Now get out of my room! I need to finish organizing my Gucci belt collection. Welp, I guess Heath is officially back. I knew him moving out was too good to be true, but oh man, was it nice. I don't think I'm prepared to deal with all the Kardashian references again. Yeah, I'll be grieving over this for a while. At least I'll have another person to make fun of again. Jackson's always fun to bully, but he's too predictable at this point, you know? Huh? Ugh, are you losers talking about me again? You guys are obsessed, I swear. We're just adjusting to you being back. The house was so peaceful while you were gone. And now we're at full capacity. I don't know how this is gonna work with all of us living together. 
Ugh, you're so dramatic, Dexter. There's only one more person than there was before I moved out. Yeah, but your personality should count as at least three people. Ugh, I'm gonna take that as a compliment. It's not a compliment. Get ready. Your life is about to become a lot more difficult now that Heath's back. Yeah, I've already been warned. Well, I don't think you've been warned enough. Ugh. Well, you haters can keep on hating, but I am officially here to stay. Well, at least until I get rich and can move out again. All right, I'm gonna go set my TV downstairs to record all the Keeping Up with the Kardashians reruns. Bye! Well, I'm gonna go cry now. Same. Well, I guess life is back to normal around here. Thank you.